Attorneys for the mother of a Dallas woman killed by a construction crane in 2019 showed the jury an image they say proves why the crane fell. The image shown to that jury came from cell phone video taken of the crane as it collapsed. Fox 4's Lori Brown live at the George Allen Courthouse with the story. Lori. Heather, a safety expert, testified that there are cranes all over Dallas, including 22 that were up the day of that severe thunderstorm in 2019 that did not fall. Oh my God, the crane is falling over. Attorneys for the mother of 29-year-old Kirsten Smith say this is the image worth a thousand words. It was taken from this cell phone video that captured the moment the crane fell. What it shows, the arm of another crane was pointing into the direction of the wind, reducing pressure on the crane structure. That crane withstood the same 70 mile per hour winds that brought the biggie crane down into the Elon City Lights apartments in Old East Dallas, killing Smith as she was cooking dinner. Three years after the collapse, the CEO of Graystar, Bob Faith, was asked, do you have anything, a photo, video, or expert that would tell you this crane was not in weather vane mode? No, Faith replied. The jury was told that Graystar's first admission that the crane was not in weather vane mode was during opening statements for the company this week. On cross-examination, Graystar's attorneys questioned the safety witness for the plaintiffs about his pay. His invoices added up to $110,000 for about 300 hours worth of work. Attorney Chad Rubach, not associated with this case, said that rate of pay can impact a jury's perception. I can understand why a jury might question, is this person saying this because they're being paid all this money? But there are a lot of facts in this case that are undisputed so far, like the operator of the crane working 84 hours the week of the collapse. The jurors are going to use their own life experiences. Uh, jurors say might know that after 50 hours of work here, she might just be exhausted. Other jurors might have different life experience and think, well, listen, I have to work double shifts all the time. 80 hours is tough, but it's not that big a deal. An executive for Graystar is set to take the stand Monday at 930.